Okay, uh, Assalamualaikum and good morning to my beloved lecturer, Encik Ismail Abiy Yaakob. My name is Ruhaizati Binti Mustafa from the LI 5A. So today I would like to present about boiler for my final element control topic. Okay, next. Uh, for introduction, uh, boiler are closed uh, vessel in which water is heated. Uh, that convert into steam uh, by the application of combustion. In other words, it is simply a heat exchanger which use radiant heat and hot flue gas uh, to generate steam and hot water for heating and processing loads uh, such as water heating, central heating, um, boiler based water generation and sanitation. Okay, next. Uh, the boiler system comprises of three. First, feed water system. The feed water system provides water to the boiler and generate it automatically to meet the steam demands. So, to provide uh, access for maintenance and repair, uh, we use various valves. Second, steam uh, system. The steam system collects and controls the steam produced in the boiler. So, in this system, uh, steam is directly through a piping system to the point of use. Um, other than that, steam pressure is regulated uh, uh, using valve and check with steam pressure gauge. Okay, number three, fuel system. Uh, the fuel system includes all equipment used to provide fuel to generate the necessary heat. So... The equipment required in fuel system depend on, on the type of fuel used in the system. So, next, the water simply to the boiler that is converted into steam is called feed water. Okay. So, uh, there are two uh, sources of feed water. First, condense, condensate and second, make up water. Okay, next. Okay, uh, type of boiler. So, there are two primary type of boiler include fire tube boiler and water tube boiler. Okay, so in fire tube boiler, hot gases of combustion flow through a series of tubes surrounded by water. So, for water tube boiler as well, water uh, flow in the inside of tube and the uh, hot gases from combustion flow around the outside of tube. Okay, next. Okay, next, uh, see uh, main basic part in boiler. First, uh, burn Second, combustion space. Third, convention section. And four, start. Five, Air friends and six control and necessaries. Okay, next. Okay, uh, for tube boiler, hot flue gases flow into tube. They are submerged in water within a seal. So, uh, this is a fire tube boiler diagram. Okay, uh, fire, uh, fire tube boiler available in size ranging from 500,000 to 75 million input. Okay, next. Advantage and disadvantage of fire tube boiler. Uh, first, lower intensification cost. Second, fuel control and simple operation. Okay, for disadvantage, um, they are exposed to hair and increase the risk of explosion. So, uh, the high of explosion is high. Next, a uh, large water volume resulting in poor circulation. And third, limited steam pressure and vaporization. Okay, next. For water tube boiler, uh, water flow through the tube and surrounded by hot combustion gas in the seal. So, uh, typically, a uh, range in size of water tube is from 500,000 to more than 20 million input. So, they are diagram water tube boiler. Okay, next. Okay, this is advantage for water tube boiler and disadvantage water tube boiler. So, we can see the advantage that we get from water tube boiler is high efficiency and fast reaction to steam demands. 
game. For this advantage, uh, they are more complicated to operate uh, when we use a water tube boiler and more control than fire tube boiler. Okay, next. Okay, next, other than fire tube boiler and water tube boiler, we have cast iron section boiler. This is another type of boiler commonly used in commercial space heating application. And this type of boiler don't use tube. And other than that, they are also available for producing steam or hot water. So, this is advantage for cast iron section boiler can be assembled on site and allowing them to be transported through door and smaller openings. Okay, for this advantage, the section are sailed together with gasket and they are prone to leak as a gasket is an attack by boiler treatment chemical. Okay, next. Uh, next, uh, some of the well-known boiler. Uh, we have five. Uh, first, back cord and below cord boiler. Second, Cochrane boiler uh, is a vertical boiler with horizontal fire tube. Third, uh, Cornish boiler uh, is a large horizontal stanitary uh, boiler with a single flue. Four, Lamon boiler, uh, a force uh, water circulate boiler. They are often used as Mary Head record. Recovery boiler. It was also used unsuccessfully uh, for an experiment uh, steam locomotive in East Germany in 1950. Okay, last uh, Lancaster boiler. Lancaster boiler is to uh, development of the Cornish boiler with the two flutes. So uh, that's all for me for uh, boiler topic. Uh, thank you for watching.